What's going on, YouTube? Kyle, okay, I came at you with some more Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. In the last episode, uh, I think I did up to the, um... The, I forgot what the bug's called, the, uh, the Conchu quest. In this episode, we're gonna be taking on the Celtas. Um, as some of you do know, I did stream the other night, or last night, um, and I did upgrade my weapon, uh, on stream. But what I'm gonna do is, uh, until I can use that weapon by doing village quest, I'm not going to use it during this playthrough. Uh, I didn't upgrade my armor at all, so no worries about that. Um, one thing I did do off screen though was, uh, I did a quest. Uh, cause I need a few more materials, so I'm gonna talk to this girl. It was the Jaggy quest she asked us to do, so I'm gonna talk to her, see if she actually does anything. Um, guess we're learning the Jaggy from I can finally go home. Now a great Jaggy inside a park right behind me. Oh, so now she gives us a great Jaggy quest. I don't think we need to do this, but I might need a great Jaggy material, so this is this is okay, I guess. Um, I'm fairly certain we don't need to do that, but um, yeah. So what I'm gonna do now is uh. I'm gonna go take the the quest for uh, the Celtas King. Celtas King, Celtas. Um, the weapon I'm using right now is um, is the Bone Chris Plus. Um, I can get this by uh, I, I just made a Bone Chris and then I upgraded it. Uh, you need like Mystery Bone and um, like Birdwarf and Claws, I believe. So there's that. Um, after this quest, though, I will be able to upgrade it again because, like I said, I was playing online with my friends. So, uh, I'll be able to upgrade it to the Celestial Sword. Um, the only reason I'm going to upgrade it is because, well, um, you know, it still has material, so after that I'll upgrade it. Uh, it might seem like a little bit cheating, but essentially it'll just end up working the same because I would have to grind for this anyway. And now it's just like I grinded previously. Uh, I wasn't really going to use this sword, um, but since I already upgraded this, my, uh, my initial sword, uh, because we fought Gypseros, and this is as far as it can go right now anyway. Um, so I'm, what I'm basically doing is just using level appropriate gear, um, for the quest at hand. So, now that I got that out of the way, I'm going to, um, I need to do more quests to upgrade my food. Uh, we'll be finding a Celta, so, what does Bulldozer do? Type of deflected. Oh, I'm not gonna be, uh, I'll do this. Yeah. This is something I'll do. I'm gonna skip the animations because I think I don't know if I've shown it once, but I don't want to show this every time I do a quest. So there's that. Okay. So uh, my HR is level two, so I think I am actually able to buy potions right now. But I'm pretty sure you can't do that in village until. Okay, no, I can't do that in village yet. Okay, this is perfect. Um, because I thought I'd be able to do that in village now, but luckily I can't. I say luckily because I wasn't sure what, uh, at what point in village I'd be able to buy them. And what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna buy these. I just always buy the books, um, I don't really do anything with them, but, um, yeah, you know, I, I just always buy them. Anyway, uh, let's get, let's get this, uh, self ass underway. I don't think there's anything else I need. And yeah, as you can see, this is all the materials I got. Yeah, again, Parade, Tetsu, Cobra, we had to fight. Um, I don't know if I'll be doing stream highlights of that stuff, but um, I could do that. I sh probably shouldn't bring a shock trap since I'm not allowed to have that yet. Actually, I don't know if I get thunderbugs yet. I'm not gonna bring a shock trap because I don't think I can have that yet. What I'm gonna do though is restock up on a uh, bug on oh, a bug nets. Uh, pickaxes before I go. I'm I'm not wearing my gathering armor anymore. Um, the only difference between this and that is that uh, the skills that it gives. So I switched to this because this has Riding Expert, and if some of you saw from the stream last night, I was not doing the best with the rides. I was doing okay with getting them, but um, I wasn't uh, working hard at the Hunter. My old man used to say there was no problem hard work couldn't solve. Don't know if that applies to camera controls, though. Seems like some sort of thing where smaller takes the price. So let me teach you about target cam. It's mighty useful when facing down bigger target... Uh, okay, so you're basically just playing the target cam. Wait, you already did this. Wait, you definitely you explained this on the uh on the boat, yeah. Okay. Uh take some materials. Let's see, let's see. Paintball struggle. Uh, I'll take these. I don't think I'll ever use these. Oh, I haven't been taking these. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's use a little bit of this. And I don't remember what era he starts in. Hopefully though, the cutscene will still play. Because, like I said, I have hunted these monsters online, but you don't get the cutscene for them. Um, 
I think he starts in four. In multiplayer, though, he starts in... Four, actually, I think. Yeah, I think he starts in four. So there is that. Uh, again, I apologize that um, I did... Like, I we wanted to stream this and, uh, you know, play with our friends. So uh, me, Duncan, Mikey, and uh, Ave. Uh, you know, while we had the opportunity, because, you know, why not? It's Monster Hunter. And we could actually play on Wi-Fi, so... Did a little bit of streaming, uh, because... I planned the stream that night, I just didn't get as far as village as I would like, because, uh, as some of you saw, we were actually, okay, it doesn't start here, um, oh, Area 7, that's fine, Area 7 is where it, uh, it, it starts, and that means, uh, as some of you saw, when we got up to HR2 Urgent, HR2, HR1 Urgent, they get to HR2, then Ursula, we kinda get bodied, but, um, gonna end up happening here is we get a cutscene of the um of the Pokemon of the Pokemon of the um of the um Cell Test there we go I was trying to remember the name of this monster but I couldn't <laughs> so I apologize about that uh we get a last little cutscene of him trying to, uh, trying to kill us. So, this is the cell test. His, uh, okay, so. Uh, what I'm gonna have right now is the, I'm gonna have the monster decks open up, like, uh, on the side, right-hand side. You should be able to see it. Um, hopefully I remember to edit that in. <laughs> the cell test is weakest to fire. His breakable parts include his horns as his only breakable part. Uh, he is a, I forgot what the insects are called in this game. Uh, but he's an insect-like Neo... Neo something, I think. Uh, there's not really much else to say about him. Uh, that I would do weakest to, yeah. He's not that hard of a monster. Um, unless you're me and I use sword and shield, so like any monster that flies around is kind of annoying to fight. I don't like really fighting him in this area either. Okay, I'm about to get him right now. <laughs> What? Why wasn't that a leaping attack? Alright, let's try this again. Why are you not leaping? Yo, this is weird. Alright. Oh, I'm too close to the... Damn it! This is actually just terrible. Alright, get down here. I really want to get a mount off, though. Wait, I can do it like this. I don't know. I don't remember how to though. Okay. Okay, I'm about to get him right now. There we go. All right, so now the mounting mechanic. You want to hold R, and oh, okay. You did it, Doodle. You totally mounted that monster. Did I didn't even teach you about that. How you can mount the monster by using a jump attacks with, uh, by jump attacks on certain parts of his body. Take that thing down by hammering the X button. If you're what? I always hammer A, but. You destroy a uh, part of the monster. You can knock it over. The monster's not going to make it easy for you, but of course, I'll try, it'll try to buck you off. When that happens, hold down the R button and you can stop uh, and stop stabbing as tight as long as tight as you can. So basically, she says stab like while the while the uh, you see while the mouth is green, do that. But while it's like this, you don't hit A. Uh, I hit A as opposed to X. I hold R down the entire time. Now I don't know if you're not supposed to do that because it's based on what she said, but I do it anyway. Um, you can break some monster parts like that, like like I said in, I don't remember if it was episode 1 or 2, but that's how you break monsters' backs, uh, primarily. Um, you can break his horn like that too, I believe. And that is the sub-quest for this. Oh dear, that's not supposed to happen. And now he's enraged. Um, his attacks aren't really that hard to dodge. The only problem is he flies around quite a bit. So what you want to do is actually I have a uh, have the easy flash bomb. So I can do that. Knock him out of the air. And that's also how you make him drop a shiny. I would be greedy right now, but he's stunned, so there's really no point in me getting greedy. And now I have to sharpen. Oh, uh, where's the easy wet stones? Or mini wet stones. Alright. So even though I could be getting in uh, crucial damage right now, that's not... Wait, why are you limping? Who said you could limp? Where you going, little nigga? Run your pockets. 
Why am I attacking the wrong way? Wait. <laughs> no, he's gonna leave. He's gonna leave. I should have paintballed him so you guys can see where he's going. But luckily, he has a really easy tell of where he's going. So he's going towards area four right now. Because he actually sleeps in this area. Um, in this starting area. Not a lot of monsters actually do that, but for the first quest, uh, he does. Uh, subsequent quest, he will start here in area four. Um, not trying to get trucked. I wanted to try to get another mounting attack off right there, but I was not able to. Oh, I forgot to mention the ailments of the monster by. Well, you'll be able to see it on the on the screen, but he, he has no elements. Um, I don't think his elements include uh, defense down, and I don't remember if he inflicts you with stink or not. Uh, I don't see the bio right now because obviously I'm playing the game. You won't see that till later editing. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I can't believe I forgot about that. That shot right there inflicts a defense down debuff, so. Where's the... You were limping two seconds ago. Why did that not knock him out of the sky? That should have. At least I thought it should have. Okay. Oh, that knocked him out of the sky. That actually killed him. I feel like that quest took too long. Uh, six minutes? I guess I'll take it. Not, uh, well, I mean, I can't really complain all that much. I don't have green sharpness on this weapon, so... <laughs> yeah. Um, the weapon I would have used for this... I wouldn't have had a green sharpness either. My, uh, my other sword and shield, the, the metal one that I upgraded into the, uh... The Gypsara one. What I upgrade that to? Um, I think I went along the, let's see, it was Hunter's Dagger? I didn't go to Assassin's Dagger. I took the lower path. Upgraded it to that once. And then again to the Gypsara, so I can upgrade to the Jin, the Fire Sword and Shield, the Rathalos Sword and Shield. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it for this quest. <laughs> um, not really much else to say about the self task. He's really not, he's really not much of a threat. Later on, it becomes annoying when you have to fight a different monster, but we'll get into that you know later on down the line. And uh, I can't believe I forgot about the ailments and elements in the monster bio. I really hope I didn't forget anything else. Um, like I said, you'll actually just see it on the screen in the little Pokedex on the side. But if I did forget something, I honestly, I, I really apologize. And we get iron ore from that? Okay. Oh, we get Thunderbugs from that, so I can potentially have Shock Traps now. Okay. Oh, we got Ivy? Woo! It's broken. Okay. And Okaka at level 5. Nimble drone. Oh, this is how we upgrade veggies. Nice. And grains? Woohoohoo! Oh, we are cooking with fire now. I got that Birdman hand rub on deck. Woo! Sorry. Sorry about that. I uh, got a little too excited. <laughs> but as you guys know from watching me on stream, we're watching me play a Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate that uh, <laughs> I. Yeah, I get kind of excitable sometimes when stuff like this happens. Now we get another little cu cool cutscene. Um, this man's using a Velocidrome sword and shield. Or Velo Yeah, this is a Velocidrome. Okay, so now quite a few people want to talk to us. Oh, let's talk to the cat first. Oh, no, I don't talk to the cat. Call to talk to the man. Are you accustomed to the hunt now? Are your weapons and armor holding up? I imagine you must be yearning for better equipment, and I have just a solution. Upgrades. Okay, so it's pretty much talking about upgrades, upgrading armor, armor spheres. Okay. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, upgrade this um because actually honestly you probably have enough after one kill to upgrade this but i'm gonna do it anyway because i would have had to grind for it any well oh my god i feel bad doing this or awkward at least because this is still uh, level appropriate gear so shouldn't be that big of a deal um and i can potentially have this no, no i can't because i can't have uh, i shouldn't have fought that to yet okay so i won't upgrade this for a little while um even though i can um, let's see, um, this one fights little Gypsarosis, how do I have this, Tetsukaba Claw, okay, um, I was looking for the dual blades for the cell test, but I guess I'm not here yet, is there a light bowgun for him, oh, there is, ooh, that looks pretty cool, oh my gosh, I definitely want to show off some, uh, some of the bowguns for this game, 
Like, if you guys actually want to see some uh, some different weapons like I did with 3U, uh, just let me know and I'll try my best to use them. Um, for those of you that have watched my 3U playthrough, I, you know that I'm not the best with anything. Like, if it's not sword and shield, dual swords, or light bowgun, I'm probably going to be pretty ter terrible at using it. Or at the very least, average. I did it. Upgrade. Come Upgrade completious. What? Sorry, I shout a lot. Check out my sword and shield. It's the it's totally the best weapon. No wait, maybe insect glaive is better. Nah, guy, sword and shield's best. Aw, oh, jaggy tail. I want to carry all the weapons all the time. So are you here about the upgrade too? Of course you are. I can see it in your face. Got to keep wits and weapons honed when uh, running on the mission. Upgrade boots, attack sharpness. Who knows that? Uh, if you're like dongle all of this, upgrade time. Uh, speaking about extra a pair of these line, I'm gonna take it right now. Oh, so this guy gives you iron ore. So we're talking to him. Okay. How are you holding up the caravan cares with a capital C? So tell your friends, you look like you made a few. What's that? You meant to try your hand at some more to uh to some quest? I might have known. Well, as it turns out, the guild just cleared you for expeditions. Congratulations! Is that a smile or a bewildered look? You do know what expeditions are, right? Hmm, I'd better explain. The guild sometimes gives hunters like you permission to go on expeditions into new areas and do field work. Naturally, they want you to report back the monsters that you bump off. Bump into or bump off. Of course, since they're new areas, we don't get any supply items or other, or other guild assistance. You're on your own, so be sure to go on doubly prepared. But as I say, uh, predicament speaks for a thousand words, so why not take a crack at the expedition right now? Here's our first open world map by touching the icon on the lower right screen, you know, the touch screen, and you'll be able to take it to the expedition. Who knows what monsters you encounter out there? Don't have it unprepared? You keep your head screwed on. And remember to upgrade your weapon if it's not if it's not up to snuff. In fact, the man uh, just finished upgrading his weapon over there for someone else. Okay. So basically, what he's saying is on the bottom uh, screen, uh, I don't have space enough for my layout, but if you look at the bottom screen, you'll be able to see a um, a globe. And you click the globe, and uh, from there, you'll be able to go to the unknown sea of... No, the... Not the unknown sea of trees. Um, I forgot. Everwood. Yeah, that's where you can go. Um... And from there, you'll be able to uh, see um, you can fight more monsters, and by doing that, you can take on more hunts in the village and in the uh, quest hall. Uh, now, um, you do that by it's really it's hard to explain, so I'll, I'll, I'll explain more as I go into it. But uh, for now, uh, there's a monster that we're gonna fight. We actually have to do two of these, so hopefully, I can get those squeezed into this video. Shouldn't take me too long. Um, this monster has no element, um, oh, he tells me, aggressive, stamina, I don't know they tell you, mouth of watering tasty meat, alright, so you know what I'm gonna do, actually, I'm going to, I'm gonna do this, just, just so I remember, I can, like, it'll tell me on the bottom screen what skills they unlock, or rather what buffs. Because once you eat with a certain uh, food combination, it'll tell you what buffs they give each time you eat it. Attack, health, and stamina. Okay, that's not bad. Alright, so I, I guess I'm prepared. Uh, that's really all I'll need. Uh, so you click the world map, and uh, it says now you can go on expeditions. So, you select the, the little blue face at the bottom. And as you can see, uh, the module will be the Velocidrome. So, depart on expedition, and out we go. Um, I'll try to explain more on the getting the quest for the guild now. So, at the end of an expedition, um, you'll get... Oh, okay. Go prepare well for today's adventures, Hunter. The only, the only certainty during expeditions is uncertainty. Well, that and the things that I'm about to explain to you. You've been tasked with exploring there, the Everwood, a land the guild has yet to uh, fully serve it. So, naturally, they're looking for a full report. Which monsters call the Everwood home and whatnot. So keep those eyes peeled and reach the goal when you find a wagon and just waiting for you. Courtesy of the guild. When you're all done and ready to go, just turn back to town and uh, that'll be the end of the expedition. Okay. Uh, your map looks a little different in Everwood too. If you ever want to get a rough idea where you're on Everwood, just zoom out on the map. Okay, so basically if I if I zoom out on the map, you can see like that. It'll say start. The, num the areas aren't numbered, I don't think. I don't really remember. Uh, but... Uh, you're actually pretty much on your own for this because there's no supply box. Um, you have to grab items and stuff, or supplies from the ground like I'm doing right now. Now, the monster in this is the Velocidrome. I'll get more into that once I get there. And, yeah. Alright, so, we're going to head out. 
And I do believe we get uh, cutscenes for this too, if I'm not mistaken. This is kind of like the, um, what is it? Um, what was it? Moga Woods from 3U. Uh, pretty much a free hunt, uh, free roam mode. Uh, you kill monsters here, you get points. And um, if you kill certain monsters, you're actually able to unlock other monsters. Now, the way that works is at the end of a expedition, you'll get a ranking. Um, and not really a ranking, but like there'll be a gauge you can fill up. It'll have it'll after this one, it'll probably it'll be I think it'll be one or two stars. Um, and if you fill up the stars, you can get a a quest by going to the guild. You get a quest unlocked. And it depends on what, like, depending on what monster you hunt in here will determine what monster you get. Because you won't necessarily get the monster that you hunt in here. Um, for example, and the only way to fight the Kieran low rank guild, low and high rank guild, I think, is to fight specific monsters in here to get the unlock the Kieran quest. And then you'll get a Kieran quest uh, you can bring to the guild and you can fight it in this area. And you'll have to do it in the guild hall and you can level it up and stuff like that. Um, I'm though I'm not explaining this all that well because I don't fully. The last time I did it was in Japanese, so I didn't fully understand all the like minor details of it. But I got the basic idea. And here we just pretty much have the original Great Jaggy. Literally, what this is. <laughs> like same fighting style, uh, minus the hip check, I think. And uh, you can break the crest. Back in the day, you couldn't though. Crimini, is that a Velocidrome? That ain't something you see every day, especially around these parts. Well, it seems like a fine opportunity to learn about how the Fort Exhibition findings of the guild. If you want to convince the guild that you discovered a monster, you better have some proof to back it up. There are two types of evidence that go towards the sighting. You can either hunt a large monster down, or grab something and drop. Keep an eye out for anything shiny. The guild will either will, will, a, will, yeah, will weigh either one as evidence that you spotted the critter. Once you get a reliable enough report, they'll designate the area as a monster's habitat. The more proof you can gather, the more reliable your report. Oh, and just one more thing. Unlike mods in normal areas, the crazy human expeditions can run off without a trace. So if you're hoping to hunt one down, you better be smart about it. Speaking of which, are you going to hunt that Velocidrome there? It's only up to you, Hunter. If you don't feel up to bringing it down, uh, best beeline to the wagon already. No one will think less of it for you. So basically what he said there is, um, as long as you bring back a shiny, that will that will count as um, showing as this monster's habitat. So, after this quest, I'll try to show that off. Um, cuz I, I think after this we can fight I can fight Velocidrome in the guild hall. And speaking of that, I I haven't fought a Velocidrome or shown off the guild hall yet. So, um in this playthrough. Even though I did a, a bunch of stuff in it already, I can show the offline guild hall. But I'm HR too, so like I won't have the pop-up bubbles. But basically, um, that's just where you get your HR up. You'll take on higher quests and stuff like that. And as you can see in the bottom right, I can um, I'm getting points for killing the monster, just like Mogul Woods. I already bro broke his crest already. See, I don't think I need any Velocity Prey parts. Velocity Drum I'm definitely taking uh, because I can just use that as basic parts. I don't like the chip damage they give either. I forgot that monsters can run away without it. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Pick up shiny, good supply, special bonuses for hunters, you have a big expedition discoveries. Oh, now you're ready to get back to exploring, are you? Yeah. So, you can also get the qu get quests, or have a better chance of getting the quest you want by picking up shinies, and, um... I think picking up special... You can get special items in here, like excavated gear. Uh, I think he's almost dead. Or at least low on stamina. Oh, he pinned down Kyle Cat, you fuck boy! All this chip damage, I hate this. That's that's actually what, what gets me on monsters like this. It's just the chip damage that they seem to inflict because uh Cause like it just it like you don't really pay attention to it because like you don't get stunned or anything, so at least personally I don't pay too much attention. I, I kind of do now that I know about it, but like in the beginning, you know, I thought I was doing decent or whatever, but in reality, I'm just getting hefty. Okay, so he's going on to the next area, I think, because he can't go backwards, so he can only go forwards on this in this specific area. Because 
This area, these areas are kind of random. So you, you can spawn a totally different area. Not for the first two, the Velocidrome and the one we have to do after that. I'm pretty sure you can't. But, um, yeah. So now he's sleeping right over there. If I had bombs, I'd bomb him because that would, um, that would do double damage while he's sleeping. Um, yeah. Okay, should be, he's about dead. Oh, I should have sharpened. There's that chip damage I was talking about. No, he threw me back with that one. That one doesn't count as chip damage. I don't need to sharpen, I hope. Watch me fuck around and get killed. Can you stop jumping, please? Alright, there we go. I didn't need to sharpen. Look at that. Go me. <laughs> I'm gonna have lost a drum claw. You only get two cars from this, so. Oh, snap! I didn't go over the monster decks! Well, that was a Velocidrome. I'm um, pretty sure he's weakest to Fire and Ice. Oh, you get three carves. I think it's Fire and Ice. You, the only break apart on him is his head. But uh, in all honesty, you'll you'll <laughs> you would have seen the, the monster decks. I, I honestly, I just had to talk about it. I think I'm thinking about. I'm just gonna leave it for the duration of that hunt. Um, cause that'll probably be best. Since I since I keep forgetting to do it right now, honestly. Why did wait? Why did I do that? Ooh, large barrel. I'll take that. Okay, go this way. This way. This way. Over here. Over here. No one's probably gonna get that because Mega Man Legends 2 is like a pretty old game. But I made it to the wagon. Uh, the wagon over there. Okay. Go over here. Talk to the wagon. There we go. You just press A and you go back to town. You also do get a few rewards. I don't remember what they are, but. You do get rewards. Probably relating to what, um... What you hunted. Like, I only killed- only really killed a Velocidrome, so... Okay, yeah, rare- rare, uh, eco strawberry rate. Okay, so once that gets full and I hunt something there, it'll say... Like rare or something. Oh, you know what's available at the guild? Okay, that pretty much just explained the the quest. I was the quest thingy. Okay, blossom was added to the guild pool. Okay. So for the sake of this, you get a uh, great jaggy now show up on expeditions. Uh, Velocity drone will show up on expedition. Wait, great jaggy? Why is he there? Hello. But yeah. I wanted to fit in the next quest with this, but um, I'm actually not going to be able to because we're at approximately 25 or 27 minutes now. Um, that's fine though. I got I got two quests on this video. I mean, I guess. And now the current video is talking to the cook. Looks like we got a cook. How you doing, Kindred Hunter? I got two matters to report. First up, the character finally has a cook, namely the street cook. Who knew that the character was just a few feet away with the, with cook in his name? He was actually <laughs> cook. His name was actually a cook. Har har. Anyway, he was more than happy to tour the world with us. Just make sure you uh, you say me how or whatever. Next up, the guild is mighty impressed with the expedition work. They might even uh, write a luck write a luck recommendation. Because in light of your excep exceptional field work, the guild hereby authorizes you to undertake guild quests. Been looking for large monsters inside in areas as you continue operating in the field. Guild quest, really and truly, ah dang! The guild must like you because guild quests are special. Of course, it may have uh, it may have helped that the old Caravania put in a good word for you when you submitted your part hard. Go talk to Guild Marm if you want to crack at those guild quests. She's all uh, she's bound to be all fired up about it. Right. You should talk to uh, you should talk about her. You, yeah, you should talk to her about our next destination. Once the caravan and its merchant uh, have all assembled, I plan for us a new uh, Vanabar. Where you ask? Somewhere we, we can make ourselves a ship, of course. Like a really big, strong one. Hard. Right. You can't go far without a ship. And I figure, uh, and I'm not going to figure out to leave this article. It'll be limited by distance. Ah, uh, you haven't seen it yet, have you? Here, have a look. This is the article. Amazing, isn't it? Ever since it fell in my keeping, I've been enchanted by its wonder and beauty. I've been able to share incredible things, but this one trumps them all. It's like it's like an itch I can't quite scratch. Ooh, but I wouldn't give to know the story behind it. Oh, I'd do just about anything, even run out of a, <laughs> even run off in a caravan. And that's how me and the man got started. We've had an amazing adventures every which place, but uh, but the article remains an enigma. Still, we aren't about to throw in the towel. No siree. The truth is out there somewhere, and I'll find it. I don't care if I have to cross the sea or sprout wings. 
Anyway, the next stop is to build a ship. If you ask me, I best bet's a village known for craftsmanship. I can't wait to see what the Capital C captain of the Capital C's very own vessel, Har Har. So get out there and do those expeditions to find out what large monster the guild was on about and go prepared. Alright, so let's talk to the cook. Miha, what do you want? Bother me with out hunting with eyebrows. I can risk companion. This is good news. I also became a caravaneer's companion, so I cook for the caravan. Caravaneer says meals are number one. You have a gift for you, so use my companion. Uh, useful to you. Uh, I hope you like my number one meals. Ooh, a gourmet voucher. Nice. Okay, so over here, let's talk to. What do you want now? What could you possibly want to say to me? Lesson getting cleared for guild quest. I, I knew you were a pearl. Uh, guild Quest eligible has some important news for you. If you use my courier service to activate street pads, you can send Guild Quest to other players. Oh, okay, this is how you send Guild Quest to other players. Uh, guild Quest share level. Okay, so this is how you send the Guild Quest to other players. Okay. Well, this is how you do it via street pass, I guess. Um, it's on. Leave me alone. <laughs> okay. Next up is the man. What, oh, the article the Caravaneers are carrying around, a strange object it truly is. He and I have sought long the of mystery, sometimes alone, sometimes on a grand caravan in tow. Oh my god, but many have since joined and left the caravan, and the article's secrets remain precisely that a secret. Now, shall we? So what's the point? Oh my god. That was actually pointless. Big news, Doodle. Happy news at that. You just got clearance to take on Guild Quest. Bravo! Guild Quest are quests with a twist issue with the guild, uh, by the Guild Bureau. Once you investigate a monster on expeditions and refuse clearance for a guild quest, well then guild quests will be temporarily added to the guild quest menu. Careful though, you need, to, you need to do one more step before you attempt the quest. You have to register the quest using uh, the manage list. This is important. Only registered only register guild quests can be attempted from the uh, gathering halls, so don't forget. As for the guild quests themselves, they have unique rules. Rule 1. Completing them raises difficulty level, records and, uh, rewards and more. You can exchange guild quests using street pass. Talk to the courier in the red cap if you want to exchange your street pass settings. You want to change street pass settings. Also, keep in mind that when you exchange your guild quest, it would be level it was when you first received it. Anyway, that's the gist of it. The everyone sure is lovely, though. I wish I could go on expeditions. Be sure to stay safe and have fun out there. Okay, so what they're saying now is we have to go on the expedition before we can uh, do anything else. And what I think is I'll go to the guild right now. Actually, wait. Uh, guild quest. Okay, manage list. Okay. For the sake of this, uh, I'm gonna select it. No, uh, you hit X. Uh, you select it, and then you press Start to register it. So I just registered the, I just registered the Velocidrome quest. So now I'm gonna go to the Guild Hall and just show that I registered it because you can't do them unless you go to the Guild Hall. So. And then there, there's my friend Abe. I sent him on a quest because that's a feature you can do if you uh, hunt with people online. Uh, so I think I go to the. I would have to go here. And go to the guild quest at the bottom screen. And as you can see now, my Velocidrome. Level 1. Uh. What? Wait. Is that it? No, I don't have any quest. That has to be it. Okay. It just had something about, like, great, uh, great sword or something. So I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this quest. Because now I'm going on a little over half an hour because all the talking. Literally, I think all the talking is what adds a lot of times onto these videos. But, uh, yeah, I think that'll be it for this video. Um, pretty sure I can't upgrade my weapon anymore. So, in the next video, uh, we're going to be taking on yet another expedition. And uh, after that, I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen. So, if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to hunt down the like button, carve it up, and uh, give this video a nice like. And uh, be sure to subscribe for more content. And, uh, yeah, this will be all for this video. This is Cal Connection next time. Later.